So the next plugin I want to take a look at here is a really cool one for appliances. So usually I would use a plugin called uh, RX9 Dehum, but that's, eh, you know, it's, it's very CPU, or not CPU, but it used a lot of DSP as well as, um, I don't know, it just feels like it takes, takes something away that I don't really want it to take away. So my go-to right now is a plugin called WNS. And the way this works when you set it up is, well, the way I set it up, I'll show you. I'm gonna boost my volume and you can hear the background noise with this on. And I'm boosting that by 10 decibels. And then I'm gonna turn it off and do the same thing. All right, so what's the differences there, right? Well, there's uh, the low frequencies that you get from appliances like an air conditioner or whatever. Like those are going to cut through after the expander much more. And I actually like to set that up. I have a very quick and specific way I like to do it where I'll just take WNS. I'll throw it right after my expander. I'll drag these numbers here all the way to the lowest. So it only attacks the low frequencies. I'll crank the suit, the smoothing all the way up. I'll put the threshold all the way down and I'll just drag select the first, like the, the middle four, like sl sliders there, faders, bring them all the way down. And I'll just turn to the threshold until that, uh, that white line doesn't jump around. Now what's cool about this is when I turn it off, right, you know, and I turn it back on, I don't lose any clarity in my voice and it works really well for that as sort of a, a denoiser as opposed to like, you know, the, all the noise reducers that you get in like RX nine or whatever. Oh man, we, everyone, every one of those sounds the same, dude. Like they, they take away too much highs. Like if I show, look, I'll show you if we get the RX voice denoise, right? This is the one I see a lot of people use. Um, you can hear it right away, dude. Like I have it, I have it said just do the, the neural like adaptive mode, but right away you can hear that I lose too much like clarity in my voice, especially if I, if I just let it learn my room, right? Listen to that. You can, you can hear it almost does that sort of like YouTube compression sound that I, I'm not fond of. And even then it doesn't do a good job at getting rid of the lows. It's stupid, especially don't even get me. Oh man, if I turn off the expander, uh, let's keep the compressor. I mean, listen to it when you use it for its intended purpose, right? Getting rid of the noise, right? The expander is doing most of the work for me. Like with, when I listen to that dude. Ugh, I can't stand it. Stuff like that. A reefer, reefer does the same thing where it, it, it battles noise and that's free, of course. So you can't really blame it, but do you get what I mean? <laughs> that's just not the way to do it. I prefer, I think you get a much better result from using an expander as well as specifically WNS. This is a very, I turn it off, man. I mean, this is using like no fucking DSP, like what? Maybe 1%. It's very, very light and it works really well for it's almost like a graphic EQ gate, you know what I mean? Where it tackles all the frequencies within this range from 20 to 400. And, you know, you can set it to do 400 too. I mean, shit, it doesn't matter. You can even hit high frequencies with this, right? You can use this really powerful. It's a great plugin. You guys should definitely check it out.